Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from mrcampbellrocks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make calendar slots or appointment slots in Google Calendar. It's important to note that if you're on just a consumer Gmail account, you won't have the ability to create appointment slots. You need to have a Google Workspace or G Suite as it used to be called account. If you have a Google Workspace account and for whatever reason it's not showing up, you need to contact your Google administrator to have them turn that on either in your business or in your school district. Let's jump into that right now. I'm actually in a G Suite account here that I use and today is January 3rd, 2022. When I click on the day to create a new event, I have four options. I have an event, I have out of, ta out of office, tasks, and appointment slots. Well, I want to set up appointment slots. When I click on appointment slots, it's going to give me some options and then I can click on more options as well to kind of expand that. So I'm going to click on more options. You'll see here that I have the time frame here of when I want to have my appointment slot. So I'm going to go from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. And I'm actually going to take that from January 3rd all the way through this week. Now you also have the option to modify how long those appointment slot durations are, whether it's 30 minutes, 60 minutes, um, 120 minutes. So let's put in 60 minutes just for this tutorial. You can also add a location and you can send this to specific guests. So if you have a group of people within an organization that you want to invite to pick a time slot, you can do this. You can also send this out to the general public. I'm going to show you both sides of what that looks like, both on the creator side, which is yourself, and then on the consumer side or the parent side, if you work in education, what that looks like for the parents for them to log in. So I have this here. You'll notice when I click on this calendar's appointment page, if I click here, it'll pull up a blank page. There are no calendar slots set up yet because I have not saved that calendar event. So this is what it looks like before. If I come back over here, I've got everything set up the way that I want. I click save here. You'll notice that on my calendar, it's just a blue line throughout the whole week. When I click on that calendar, it's just gonna tell me the general information about the calendar to see what the parents or the consumers are going to see to sign up for slots. I can click right here and go to appointment page for the calendar. So what you'll see here is you'll see that every day, Monday through Friday, I have appointment slots from 12, 12, basically it's all day long. Now these will stay here until somebody actually takes one of these appointment slots. So let me slide over to a different account and show you what that looks like. I'm now over in my other account. Essentially what I've done is I copied and pasted this link right here at the top of the page and the URL. That's what I'm gonna send out to the public or to the community. This is what I would see here. This is the invitation and I would click on any one of these slots. So we're gonna go Tuesday here. I'm not gonna add any notes or anything. I'm gonna click save. You'll notice that it actually adds that to my personal calendar. Again, this is the consumer or the parent or the student if you're setting up appointment slots. That's now disappeared from the options to select. If I scroll back, I'm gonna refresh this. You'll see right here at the top that Tuesday at 12 o'clock, Spencer Campbell has signed up for that spot. Again, if I go back here, I'm gonna do this again. Set up another appointment on Wednesday. Save that. I'm going to refresh this. You'll see that those slots are now taken up by that parent or that consumer or that client or however you're organizing this to go to, to that spot. So to view this calendar at any given time after the fact, so I'm gonna close both of these out Again, this is what it looks like just on your normal Google Calendar. If you want to see the appointment slots, click that event, go to appointment page for this calendar, and you'll see all of the slots that you still have available. What you'll also notice about your personal calendar is when an appointment slot gets taken, it actually adds an event to that calendar. And I have that information here now. I can add a Google Meet, I can add a Zoom link. You'll see who's attending. If you have more questions about Google Calendar, you can follow the link. 
Thank you for watching this video all the way till the end, and thank you for what you do for kids on a daily basis. If this video saved you time, energy, and frustration, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share it with your teacher friends. You can subscribe by clicking up here, or you can watch another video either here or here. Again, I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.